hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is pretty if you're new here welcome if you've been here welcome back baby today's my birthday <laughs> i'm going to the airport now i'm just waiting for the uber uh we're going to k-town <laughs> so welcome back to my channel i just wanted to intro this vlog before i leave so that you guys know what's going on um as mentioned on my last vlog which you would have seen that i'm doing solo vacay for my birthday so welcome back to the channel i'm a bit late but my flight is at half past nine so i'm not that late it's half past six now so i'm not late actually i'm just waiting like for my uber to come um welcome to a new vlog happy birthday to me <laughs> and let's go to the them around four i want to go about my day and celebrate my birthday you obviously have seen that i've changed at the airport um let's go eat because it's a and then i'll see if i'll still do the boat ride because the weather cape town let's go eat guys i look weird you know vlogging in the street and i don't even care 32 lunch quotashes i left because they don't have plug points and my phone died my battery died so now uh, because i have to pass time until my boat ride my boat ride is at four so now i'm at mozambique i'm having a drink i had two cocktails already quotashas me i'm having two more fight like fighters i've ordered brutal food you already know her and I had planned that I'm going out for dinner, my birthday dinner, but I don't think it still, will still be possible because I'm tired also. But I'm gonna be excited when I'm on the boat. I'll speak to you guys when I get to the accommodation. Um, my battery died because it was so good because I was able to zone out from vlogging and taking pictures and, 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 and I was in the moment and I was so grateful looking around me. Um, but we'll speak because there's music here. When I get 
paid from YouTube, I don't wanna copy, be copywriting because I can hold it now. So, <laughs> happy birthday to me! <laughs> I'll speak when I met my Okomza guys, bye. Finally be riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give up what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me It's half past six. My birthday is actually over. Like, <laughs> it's still sunny out, but sana. Yeah. I just fetched my bags now. I didn't buy myself wine because I know when I lay tops downstairs, but when I got here, it was closed. So now I'm bummed. But let me show you around. I'm so excited. I actually have stayed here before. That's why it's not like a wow situation. <laughs> I know what I was expecting. Like everything that's here, I was expecting. But let me show you guys. This is at Wex One in Moonstock. Let me show you my room for tonight. So as you come in, there's a door here. It is the bathroom. Um, sink, toilet, shower, and then the toilet doesn't smell nice. And then you walk in, and then there's my bed for the for the two nights that I'll be here. And then we have. This wardrobe. Um, you have your hangers. I'll show you the other side. So you have enough space to hang your stuff. I like hanging things and picking things away because it helps me when I, I'm just ready to go. And then you have hangers over there. Enough space. That's the wardrobe. Let me go back so that you guys can see. And then this is essentially my bedroom. Uh, I see. And then uh, there's a glass separating the kitchen. And then as you walk in, um, this is a dine the dining area, the fridge over there, the kitchen. And then you have the TV right here. And then I'm facing the harbor. If you guys can see down there, there's the harbor. And then as you turn this side, you will see a couch and an equational chair and a table. 
I just bought things from spa and then there's my mirror over there it's nothing much but it's cute you know for one person um, you have your microwave you have your toaster and then you have your plates um, over there and then I don't know what oh this is a spice rack I think but even last time I guess we never I think here yeah. no hey okay, and this and then you have your stove you have your oven your broom and then you have your sink and then um this is the cabinet and then there's a two plate i don't know why um, and then you have your door you have your fridge and then you have that so that's it the one that we were in was much nicer than this one but oh, um this room is actually cute for two people or one person i was actually here with my sister but I was, our room was facing the other side. This one is facing the harbor. So it's cute for two people or one person. Obviously you're not here like to chill in your room. You'll be out and about. There's a lot to do in Cape Town. But now I'm deciding, Hore. So now I'm not sure if I really want to go out for dinner. I had promised myself to go out for dinner. For like my birthday dinner and dun dun. But do I really want to go after the long day I had? Like, it's half past six now. And I got a little so I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> Let me check my kids and see if they're fine. And then I'll decide if I really want to go out for dinner. If not, I'll have to chill. Like, but also, like, let me decide. I'll talk to you guys when I'm if I'm getting ready. The other thing, give makeup. Yo. Like doing makeup. Ah ah. No man, let me decide. I don't think I really need to. I'm still here, I must. Hey. Dancing slowly in the moonlight. Beneath the stars, start it up your <laughs> I'm so tired. I had to change into this because I want to fetch my food downstairs. I ordered KFC. I'm not going out. Like, get punchies. As soon as I got onto this bed. So, I'll do more activities tomorrow. I'll go out for dinner tomorrow. My thing is, I'm still here, so I don't have to stress myself too much. It's my birthday week, so I don't have to be too hard on myself, you know. So I'll do everything outside. Right now, I just want to eat and sleep. As soon as I finish eating, I just want to sleep. It's been a long day. It's been a good day. Like, it's been a good day. Yo, it's been such a good day. 
I'm so grateful like for my family for life for being here alone like I am on a solo vacation you know in my favorite city and I get to do anything that I want whenever I want if I feel like I don't want to go out now I'm not pressured to go out do you get what I mean like yeah if I want to go out I can just decide to leave now you know let me just sleep guys we'll start the vlog again tomorrow I, I want to wake up early and go to Table Mountain I haven't been to Table Mountain and then what else do I want to do maybe I'll spend the day at the beach and then I'll see what I do later on but I'm doing I'm definitely doing Table Mountain in the morning so let me rest and wait for my food I had such a good day for the last time happy birthday to me thank you God for everything that you've done for me super grateful I see you in my life like I see the blessings and let's close it here I'll speak about everything else tomorrow bye guys the next day hey guys hey guys it's my second day in cape town um i just woke up i took a shower get to heal it late I, like i woke up early but i was in bed like the whole morning i was just chilling and then now i'm ready to be a tourist I was supposed to be early, early because I wanted to leave the house and go to Table Mountain by a fruch in the morning. But I just couldn't. Like, my body was just like, not you, my baby. Um, yesterday, I'll show you clips. My mother, when I was at the boat ride, I met this family, nearly two ladies and three guys. So, the guys and, like, the guys and the ladies are cousins. So, that family came together. So when I told them it's my birthday, they invited me to um, a club they were going to. I actually went out for like an hour or two. It was so fun. Um, obviously, we didn't go with the elders, but it was so nice. It was at, yo, hey, I'll put up the name of the thingy, Elu or Ale rooftop. It was so nice. And there wasn't anyone there. It was just us. And then I came back home. So, because of the drinks, I've been chilling in bed. I didn't want to do anything because <laughs> Nikki go. So, I ordered um, into another um, singer beggar so that gets okay. And then, I ordered the wings. So, I'm up now. So, now I'm going to Table Mountain. I'm not sure if we're late for Table Mountain, but the, that family, uh, they went around too. So, I can go at any time. But I wanted to go in the morning, you know, like hike vibes. But I'm going now. And then because I want to kill two birds, I'm going to go to Table Mountain and then so that I don't come back here and do in in and then go to Clifton Beach and chill there. And then I'll decide when I'm there if I want to come back here or just go eat. So I got disturbed by a call. Nikere. Nikere. Please don't judge me. I know I packed clothes. But when I was at the mall, I got tempted to buy some things. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought. I got these slides because I was so tired of those sandals. So like the ones that I packed. So I got these slides, the Pasha Pasha. Even for the beach now, I'm going to pack them now. I'll show you. Let me fetch uh, what I'm going to wear now. Okay, let me so, um, I wanted an, like a cute t-shirt for an oversized shirt for Table Mountain. So I got this shirt, go on twin, go sports scene, yeah. I got this shirt, go sports scene. And then I got a bikini top. I'm not going to wear it now, so I'll show you to guys go outside when I wear it. And then, yeah, that's all I got. I know, don't judge me. 
So, so I'm going to wear this. And then my black shorts. And then I'm going to wear sneakers. But underneath, I'm going to wear my swimwear. And then pack my slides. And then I'm going to take this towel. Let me show you guys. Let me put you here so I can show you what I'm packing there. I am packing. I hope you guys can see. I'm packing my snacks. I'm packing a book. I'm gonna put you up. I'm going to put everything in here. Hopefully it fits um, for the beach and then my slides. And maybe a cover up, I can show if it will fit. And then I wanna take that small towel because mine is big. I don't think it looks like a common. But I like this one because it is kikono pajama, even when I wanna nap, you know. Um yeah, that's all I wanna pack. I'm gonna buy a drink downstairs, possibly cold drink and water, so that I'm not thirsty. But let's go to table mountain. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> And I'm so upset. Wait, the reason why I left the house was because I didn't have any bev to drink, and I got so bored because this place, Bansite, um, what's this? What's this? What's this thing? The battery, the remote control. So I don't have batteries, and the TV. I can switch it on. I can see whoever who was in here was using YouTube. But I can't, I don't know what to do because I texted the host, Ankara. So, go share better review, anyway. Let's go to, to a table mountain and go to the beach and chill. And then we'll come back later and see. Do you think, guys, it's wise for the case of the hop, don't, don't pass? But I'm in Woodstock and I'm going this direction to Table Mountain. And then I'm, when I come back, it's Clifton, it's Sea Point. If I have to do the hop bar, that hop on hop off bus, I have to go to VNA and then it takes me to C, it by a C Point. Dun, dun. Hey, I'll decide. I'll see. So let's go to. Let's go, guys. Let's go to Table Mountain. Let me get ready. Let me get dressed and then resume. This shit says I'm so excited because I wanted it to be like a dress. This is how it looks. I'm gonna wear my sneakers and then we'll go. I wanted to show you guys because I'm excited. I'm wearing my swimmer underneath. I'm not sure if it shows. It gets to so, but I think it does show, but not too much. So. <laughs> I'm taking this bag to put my small items like my shades, my lotion. I'm gonna fetch it now. Make those cut and what else? What am I taking? And my keys. Like I have a tendency to like the key, so I think if they're in here, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be safer.
solo traveling Guavava to ask people for pictures yo in Terry yo I guess that's how I guess that's how we sort of get Guavava I'm asking people to take me pictures but look how beautiful this is but I'm more I'm far away I'm going up I'm following people around Mara Guavava in Terry but I'll pull through I already asked one person I'm gonna ask another one to take me pictures. Pictures. Yo! So sad.
One of my favorite YouTubers did a video reflecting on her life. I really liked it and I thought this is the perfect time or the perfect vlog to do mine. Especially with how I feel now. I feel so grateful, man. I'm at peace and I'm so content. Let me take you back. When I was in metric, my mom was terminally ill. She was in and out of hospital. I saw my happy mom very loud mom who was full of life lose herself because her body was failing her every day that was the toughest five months of my life i wrote my final exams not knowing if my mother would come back from hospital or not fast forward i passed my matric with a bachelor's degree i'm ready to go to university only for my matric statement to be stolen by the people i shared my house with which were my stepdad and her kids. These are the people my mom introduced me to. And I think in that moment, that's when I realized how my life would look like if my mom would leave us. The whole thing delayed my registration and I ended up taking a gap year. In the same year, in March, my mom passed away. Life changed. Everything I knew, everything I had was gone. My mom was gone forever and I was shattered. I had nothing. I had no job. I had no school to go to. Most importantly, I didn't have a parent. I gave up on myself too. That year was tough. The following year, my brother dragged me to TUT, which I was not interested in. You can imagine. Um, he found a cause and he applied for the qualification. The first one that he saw on paper, he just applied. And honestly, I didn't care. What was the point? I had nothing. I studied a finance-related qualification. Accounting was so foreign to me, but I managed. I made it in record time. I passed all my modules and I graduated in time. My life was starting to come together. I made friends, I was alive again. I even connected with God again, but I struggled to find a job right after I graduated. It took me five years to get a permanent job. This is tough guys, um, I'm trying to make it without crying. I remember in, I remember waking at Pep, crying every morning because I knew I deserved better because it meant I was back to square one. God remembered me. A friend of mine told me about an opening at her current job. I applied for it and I got the job. And for the first time, I think I felt like something was coming together for me. I finally got a permanent job. 
I could now provide for myself and my son. And look at me now. I can boldly take myself to Cape Town, chill at a beach, <laughs> have a cute drink, with no stress in the world. Me. Pretty. Who would have thought? I don't think I would have thought this would be my life. And I know, I know, right, this might sound like nothing to someone out there. But to me, guys, this means, this is such a big deal. It means so much to me. I don't have things people deem important, like a house to my name or a car. But damn, I'm so grateful, yo. Like, I wouldn't have thought this would be my life. I'm at peace because I see God in my life. God is so faithful and he restores. I just wanted to take you back so that you understand why I keep saying I'm grateful. And I hope it gives someone hope out there. Let me love and leave you here. Bye, guys. <laughs> the next day. Morning, guys. Morning. Today, I'm leaving Cape Town. My two nights here were so good. But I'm going back home. I'm actually late. I'm checking out, but I want to close off this vlog here. I'm going to chill by their pool deck. There's a pool deck, and then I'll possibly leave um, my bags there. I'm not sure if I leave my bags there or get to my little one to wherever I want to go. I just need to do one thing, either like eat lunch or get an activity to do. I'm wearing my favorite dress. I didn't get to wear it. So kids, it today is the day. And I didn't wear it because there's no iron. Pandimile iron, guys, I've been asking. But there's nothing they can do. So would never, would never recommend this place to anyone. Because even the last time, this is what happened. Remote doesn't work. There's no iron. There are a lot of issues. And because this time, I spend a lot of time inside the issues the last time Nale Osaka, we kept leaving every five seconds so we were here to sleep this time i was actually here like i stayed here so i, I wouldn't recommend wax one to anyone <laughs> so guys i'm closing this vlog here thank you so much for watching i haven't booked my flight i'm going to book it when i get to the pool deck i can see if they still sell food but it would be nice to eat and chill uh, by the pool and then see if i can swim or not but that's it um the activity that i wanted to do i wanted to do kayaking mara is fully booked on the website and i know if i go there but long overcharge because on on tuesday when i got here basically 400 on the website it's 200 so i'm just like i'm not doing that so yeah let me go guys because it's late already i think it's quarter past 10 and i have to check out the 10. i ironed my dress ka, ka pizza this pot make it to me and manage to iron my dress it's not properly ironed but you know so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i really enjoyed vlogging um i enjoyed my birthday i hope you enjoyed my birthday with me i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys i'm still gonna vlog but i won't be talking to you i'm closing off this <laughs> here and then we'll talk on the next vlog if that makes sense but thank you for watching i love you guys so much please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye you My dress is so wrinkled. Oh my god. Imama. <laughs> Imama. Imama Katia Mo and Tinsuano.